G'day guys, welcome back to the channel again. In this episode, we're going to be working again on the coupe. We're going to be doing a few things in the engine bay, trying to uh, finish off the aprons and that sort of thing. Uh, but before we jump right into that, been having a look around the workshops, feeling a little congested. Um, what we do want to do is we want to start working on the chassis for the 57. And uh, that's really to do that properly, I want to put that up on the frame table where the Mustang's sitting. So uh, we're just going to juggle a few things around and uh, get that sorted and then we'll jump straight into the coupe. So uh, stick around, hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so now that that's all done, and we've sort of rearranged a few things around here, um, ready to jump in and do a bit on, on this coupe. So let's just have a look at what I've got in store. So what I'm gonna do is uh, jump into these aprons and um, probably get a bit of cardboard, make some templates, play around a little bit, see how it looks. I'm, not, I'm really not sure exactly how I want to do it. I've, I guess what I've done really is I've made these um, shock tower panels a, a bit of a feature in a way so i don't really want to make too much of a fuss on these ones in other words i don't want to i don't want to draw too much attention in and get you know too sort of carried away with bead rolling and what have you so what i'm thinking at this stage is maybe just doing even just one one roll i might just put like one roll coming down following the shape of that you know that just following the shape of that shock tower edge and and then just turning and then running along maybe see how that looks i don't know we'll see how we go but like i say i don't want to make it too fancy otherwise it just gets all too busy in here and as i say those are really the feature i sort of want to sort of um not draw too much attention to the rest of it if anything i want to simplify it uh, the other thing is I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a catch up on what has been getting done on the coupe since we've been working on the Chevy a lot and uh, it's really stuff that might be hard to notice but X has actually been working quite hard uh, in here on the coupe when he's got time as I say he does it he does it part time but what he's done is he's um, he's actually um, moved the B pillar slightly on both sides so just to get it to match in with the doors so what he did is he got the doors fitted up and then he's basically lining up the b pillar and the door together and if it's not quite right then he moves either one or the other so he's uh, he's done that and then what he's also done is this quarter panel if anyone watched any of the early episodes and they they actually took notice of this quarter panel it was a mess like it was pretty dinged up it had some big gouges through here it had massive dents and distortions in it and then on top of it i went ahead and welded in a new wheel arch uh, and also uh, bottom of the the quarter panel which you know you might be able to still see the line but along with the dents and distortion that was already in it it was pretty out of shape so what x has done is he's been doing a lot of work with the easy beat and uh, just doing some hammer and dolly and file work on it and he's got it looking a hell of a lot better i must say it's a lot lot better and then on this side um, a little bit of the same treatment although he's he's only part of the way through it on this side here on this side it was it was bulging a little bit too much in the front of the quarter so he's been doing a lot of heat shrinking on that and as i say he's only part of the way through that so don't take too much notice of uh, you know of how it looks um, it's a work in progress he's also working on the uh, on the door gaps getting them right so um, getting the steel as close as you can and then uh, using your body filler 
um, is really the way to go and that's what he's trying to achieve. He's trying to achieve um, the least use of body filler as possible um, but at the same time like you could jump in and you could just body fill the thing and then find that it's too high in some spots with steel and then you then you've got that worry to deal with so he's what he's trying to be trying to do basically is get the steel as close as he can and also remove as many of the high spots as possible so that it's not going to be an issue once the filler bit, the filler has been laid on so anyway back to what we were talking about which was aprons I think yeah so I'm going to grab some cardboard and just play around a little bit and see what we can do. Okay, so first of all I'm going to try to see if I can get this shape um, just using this old thing here. Well, it's fairly close I guess. I'm just... Uh trace that onto this cardboard oh too uh, took too much Damn. Okay, no problem. All right, that'll give me a mark to go by. So I just want to kind of like be in the ballpark of there. And then be somewhere. there yeah that'll work okay let's see how this looks so I'll fill if I go with that then I have to fill that in obviously so I'll make the fold along this line here the lower line and that will just be smoothed out flat Oh yeah, that's going to change that too. Okay, what you got to do is just get a little bit of tape and put that in there like that. And that's that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you get your template as close as you can, and then you try to remember anywhere that you're short. So I'm just a tiny bit short up here, and I'm just a little bit out down there. So I just leave a bit of excess steel when I cut it. Bob's your uncle. She's ready to go. Yeah, could have put a fold in it, right. bit tight there so I just need to put a bit of relief in there.
Yep, too much. Every time. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there and um, we'll probably do a part two on these aprons. So um, what I'll do in the meantime is I'm going to go ahead and fab up the other three. Uh, just basically fab them up so they're, you know, just sitting loosely in place. And, um, and we'll figure out what we're going to do with the bead rolling. I'm undecided myself. I've got a few ideas. That's one of them. Uh, the other one is to maybe do some a couple of beads similar to the originals, which basically come down and then sort of curve in a little bit. Uh, so yeah we'll see what happens but yeah in the meantime go ahead and leave your comments um, do you think we should put one or two beads in it or do you think we should leave it smooth and let the shock tower be the um, you know the focal point or what so go ahead and leave your comments thanks again for watching and don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe like and share and uh, we'll catch you in the next one